this has been something that's been beating me up for months, right? I mean, the worst possible phone call a musher can get is your dog's had a positive test. Um, obviously, the immediate response is how? What happened? Um, I'm probably the only person in the world that knows definitively I did not give a drug to my dog. I have never used a banned substance in the race. I have never knowingly broken a race rule. <laughs> No, tram tramadol is not a drug we use. Um, I have personally never had a prescription for tramadol. Our kennel doesn't use it. We had a dog that had a prescription years ago um, and didn't even use it in that case. So I'm just finding this out. I have personally never given this pill to any dog. I know I did not give this. I'm almost certain my team did not give this. So that leaves open some opportunities there. Um, unfortunately, I do think that you know another musher is an option. I really do not want to believe that. But if we accept the fact that we think drug testing is necessary to prevent somebody from giving a drug to their own dog, we have to also accept the fact that that same person would be just as likely to give it to somebody else's dog to cause a positive test. That is a possibility. We need to be protected against that.